now may be disturbing, the transformation really is remarkable. NBC's Jeff Rossin is now joining us with the story. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Ann. Good morning. Charlin Nash was attacked right up this driveway behind me, and it was violent. Travis the Chimp ripped off her face and her hands. Her mere survival, a medical miracle, but turns out that wouldn't be the only miracle. Two and a half years later, countless surgeries later, Charlin Nash has a new face, and this morning you're about to see it for the first time. The transformation has been difficult to watch from beautiful, vibrant mother to helpless victim, disfigured and unrecognizable. After the attack, Charla Nash wore a veil to cover herself. Travis the Chimp came at her with such force, Charla never stood a chance. He's killing my friend! Who's killing your friend? He's killing my chimpanzee! The chimp took off Charla's nose, mouth, and hands and left her permanently blind. Doctors saved her life, but wouldn't stop there, attempting the country's first ever double hand and face transplants. Charla spoke with NBC News just weeks before her life-changing operation. Getting my face and hand together, that would be nice. All in the room, being able to do everything on my own. These are the first images of Charla's new face revealed this morning for the first time. Her brother and teenage daughter Brianna were at the hospital when the bandages came off, and the progress is stunning. This photo was taken just after the surgery two months ago. And this is Charla today. The swelling has gone down, and her new face has molded to her bone structure. Well, I think she's pretty impatient as to recovery, but um, but she's recovering very well. She Her speech is getting much better. She's been getting up and she's starting to eat. Charla is still too weak to give an interview, but told us, I'm beginning to feel my jaw and chin and I can move my mouth and smile. Did she smell you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you smell Charlie? Yeah. Wow. Charla is also breathing on her own now. And remember, she hasn't eaten solid food since the attack. Her first meal with her new face, eggs with cream cheese. I still feel weak, Charla told us, but little by little, I'm getting stronger. Charla has been doing very well. She has met all her milestones so far and has been stronger every day, both mentally and physically. The surgery took more than a dozen doctors and lasted 20 hours. There were complications, though, after the operation, and Charla's new hands had to be removed. But her new face took and has already changed her life. Today, Charla is in intensive therapy, and for the first time since the attack, she's able to do things that most of us take for granted. Eating, talking, smelling. Doctors aren't exactly sure when she'll have full function back in her face. All depends on her progress, but so far they like what they see. And for Charla's family, there's new hope after years of such pain. And Jeff Rossin, thank you so much. Charla's brother Steve and her daughter Brianna are now joining us exclusively. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. A miracle? What other words would you use? Just, wow. <laughs> You've been watching her face form yep. over this period of time. The last time we talked to you, she was in ICU. What has it been like to see her emerge again? It's just good to see the rapid progress and, and just the, the happiness that wasn't there before. New hope has been sparked, and it's just so nice to just see her ready to get at it again. Yeah. What, what about for you, Steve? Well, uh... Initially, after the operation, she was quite sick, so I was there, like, for two weeks, and I don't know if she even said ten words to me during that time. And so from that point and then now where they interviewed her this morning and they got her to talk, they, you know, they mentioned her statements and everything, and her optimism is, uh, uh, you know, back again, and uh, so we were quite ecstatic. The idea that now there is the possibility, the beginnings of her own ability to smile. I see you smiling, Steve, and, and you, Brianna, just, 
Yeah. Thinking about that. Right. What does that mean to your family? What does that mean to Charla? Just for her to make an expression, something that we've had to take from her words before. It's just nice that she, her body language can express how she feels. She's hitting all the milestones, doctors say. Breathing on her own, smelling, eating solid food. It, it, it really is amazing. At the same time, she has faced such a one grueling challenge after the other. And shortly after the surgery, she had to have both hands removed because of the complications. So how, what would you have to say about her resiliency? Well, Steve? first I want to mention that the hands, they were a successful transplant. It was complications with pneumonia that uh, made it so they didn't, the doctors say they didn't thrive. And that was because there was no circulation to the hands or not, not enough circulation. So, uh, uh, but, uh, and, and I forgot your question. She wrong, wants but... independence. Oh, yeah. And it's, so it's got it's right. to hurt not to have those hands for her emotionally. It's got to hurt emotionally. So, so how has she stayed strong? All, all she said is, uh, you know, just le like with the attack, that we're going to start from this point and look okay. forward, you know. And uh, we're very optimistic that the face thrived and uh, just looking forward to the next uh, attempt at the uh, transplant. So there will be another effort to transplant her hands. Are there many more surgeries planned? What is the future, Brianna? Um, I'm not really sure. I know for now we're just worrying about getting her strength back and um, just in general, just getting her back on her feet and used to her face. And just worrying about this step in the process. You don't know who donated so that no. your mother could have her face. No, but I just... But what would you say to that person's family? Just that what they've done for us is just so amazing. And just, I'm so thankful. And it's just really given my mom the hope to move forward and a chance at a life again.